Hi. Let's learn about backup withholding, a tax levied on investment income. Backup withholding is a tax that is levied on investment income, at an established tax rate, as the investor withdraws it. For payments not subject to withholding, payers are required to withhold the tax. Backup withholding helps to ensure that government tax collecting agencies, such as the Internal Revenue Service or Canada Revenue Agency, will be able to receive income taxes owed to them from investors' earnings. Backup withholding may be applied when an investor has not met rules regarding taxpayer identification numbers, TINs. At the time the investor withdraws his or her investment income, the amount mandated by the backup withholding tax is remitted to the government, immediately providing the tax collecting body with the required funds but leaving the investor with less short-term cash flow. Investors commonly earn income, for example, interest payments, dividends, and distributions, from assets in which they have invested. Backup withholding is used to collect taxes on this income to prevent tax shortfalls. Investors may be subject to backup withholding if they did not provide the correct TN, did not report interest or dividends, or if the IRS has notified them to be subject to mandatory backup withholding. Backup withholding can also be applied to certain types of payments such as rents, royalties, commissions, and gambling winnings. Common payment types that could be subject to backup withholding are interest payments, dividends, and rents. Taxpayers may be subject to backup withholding if they did not provide the correct TN, did not report certain income to the IRS, or if they underreported interest or dividends on their income tax returns. Payers are required to withhold at a rate of 24% if the contractor or investor fails to provide the correct TN, and the IRS informs them to do so. The IRS may require backup withholding if the taxpayer or broker did not report dividend or interest income received from investments held. Here are three key takeaways. 1. Backup withholding is a tax on investment income, and it's used by the IRS to prevent tax shortfalls. 2. Investors may be subject to backup withholding if they did not provide the correct TN, did not report certain income to the IRS, or if they underreported interest or dividends on their income tax returns. 3. Common payment types that could be subject to backup withholding are interest payments, dividends, and rents. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.